Hey, party people, throw your hands in the air. What, what am I doing? Okay, we are here. This is beer number 13. Uh, I can say, I know this beer. I bought a four pack of this beer. But, let's do it. Fucking labels again. <laughs> Hang on. All right, there we go, number 13. As I mentioned in video number one, I think it was, that this, um, not this video, on my videos, Purvis uh, Beer or Brew Shop or whatever they're called, they're a, they're a bottle shop, um, Purvis Beer, I think they're called, uh, uh, put out this uh, advent calendar of cans and it was all over the box, was said it was sponsored by Deeds Brewing. Um, I've done a lot of videos about Deeds Brewing. I think I did a tasting video uh, and I've also done recipes to try and get sort of like their beers. Anyway, so yes, I've already had this beer, but we're going to do it. Um, they're a great brewery. And this one, I know I can tell you about without reading, although I should still read it. Um, this one is called, And Everything Under the Sun Is In Tune. I'd play some music, but the uh, copyright guys on YouTube would jump on my head. So I won't. Um, it says, Everything Under the Sun Is In Tune, But The Sun Is Eclipsed By The Moon. I shouldn't sing. <laughs> One, because I shouldn't sing. Oh, I can't see with these glasses on <laughs> at all. And two, because, oh, yeah, the copyright thing. Anyway, classic lyrics that seem more relevant than ever. Our friends at HPA offered us the chance. Um, Hop Products Australia, for those people overseas that don't know. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll keep continue reading. We can talk about them later. Our friends at HBA offered us a chance to brew with a hop we fell in love with last year when we collaborated with a brewery from across the way. Brewed only with Eclipse and dry hopped at 9.5 grams a litre, which is quite small for these guys. If you've seen my tasting video, they go up to 50 grams a litre. They sort of hover around 15 to 20 grams a litre. There's 15, 18, things like that. This NIPA layered with wheat, chit, and old roats. I said chit. Um, yeah, well, chit is the little bit of the, of the of the grain, but grows out and stuff. But yeah, there's a new newish to me anyway. Um, a grain like you, you buy chit as a grain, and it's in a few of their beers. Um, explodes with mandarin and stone fruit across the palate. We can't wait to add this to our library of hops as we continually explore combinations and the resulting flavours. Dry hop and intensity, yeah, 9.5 grams a litre. Hops are all eclipse. Uh, pale malt, wheat malt, rolled oats, chip malt, dextrose. Uh, style is NIPA and they are from Glen Iris in Victoria. Uh, if you're into your NIPAs and that, you should know about Deeds already. Um, if you love your NIPAs, you should hop on De the Deeds train because it's good. Um, some will say Quiet Deeds, the older ones. Um, that's a longer story that I'm not going to go into. But uh, they're, they're called Deeds Brewing these days. Uh, but you, you drink them fresh. Um, if you buy them fresh new release, sometimes it does pay to leave them for a week in the fridge just to settle down because these... Um, new breweries, they package these and get them out because they have to. Um, one, because, you know, NIPAs, they don't last. Um, yeah. Either, what me and a mate were talking about the other day, if you buy a four pack or something from a guy, people like Deeds or Mountain Culture or whatever, you drink one the day you get it and then you put them away for a week and then try again. Um, and you'll see sometimes the hops start to pop. Uh, NIPAs, uh, that's what happens. Hop Products Australia, let me quickly talk about that. Um, this hop has been on sale in Australia for a few years now. Uh, whether it be um, for the home brewer or not, I don't know, but I've been buying it as HPA 016 for the last, well, I don't know what it's been, six months, 12 months, whatever. Um, and I've tasted beers at hop festivals with this experimental hop, because HPA, Hop Products Australia, put out their hops with a, just a code number at the end. And any of them that like people continually use and like, um, you know, they get they get given a name. And just recently, that's why if you've seen um, the new Australian Hop Eclipse or whatever, uh, it's actually been around for a while. Uh, but yeah, it's HBA 016. I've got to stop talking. Get this beer in the glass. But also, um, I've used it in my latest NIPA um, 
homebrew series uh, and their IPA version I did with the MIPA grain base. Um, I haven't put the recipe up yet. Oh, it's in the recipe creation video. But if anyone wants a recipe, just let me know. Um, I never quite liked the beer. And I thought some, I, I thought I nearly could even um, detect DMS in it. But everyone else I've given it to has loved it and hasn't been able to detect that. So it's something with me uh, and the combination of, I did HBA 016 or Eclipse and Brew-1, B-R-U-1. And people, as I said, people are really loving that beer. I wasn't going to do like a brew day video for it. The recipe is already out there, as I said, on the, at the end of the recipe creation video. It's there on the screen. But um, yeah, if you want it, let me know. And my No Chill version had some of this in it too, of the NIPA, which is up on YouTube and the recipe. Um, but I think I didn't, in the actual recipe you click on, I don't think the HPA is in it. Um, but... Let me know if you want the original or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a good hop. It's a little bit different, but it's a good hop. Finally, I've, I've talked way too long. What's this, seven minutes? This is going to be the longest one ever. I haven't even poured the beer. All right, let me pour it. It's actually not quite as hazy as the others. It is probably getting a bit on, but when I say getting a bit on, packaged 14th of the 10th, packaged mid-October, so yeah, it's getting a bit on for an NIPA, and it's not quite as fresh as it was. You get a nice little aroma. I, I find HPA doesn't sort of, oh sorry, I should say Eclipse, it's Eclipse now, doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't bash me in the face like other hops does. And there's some similarities to the aroma from those other two beers I've had the last couple of days. Um, with the, sorry, because I'm looking at the empty cans are all here. Um, with the Galaxy and that in it. It's, a, it's, it's not a dissimilar aroma. But it's the typical Deeds beer. I have a really nice body. Oh, and that flavour. They just have a thing. Deeds know how to do their NIPAs. I nearly said pillowy. It does. It's just have a, a beautiful, smooth mouth film. This is a very different hop to what I'm used to, but it's it's they just they know how to do it, and I think that shows a good brewery. Um, some will say Deeds don't do their dark beers very well. Oh, sorry, because I love Deeds, um, but I've heard I've heard that some people say that. But you know, this is their piece of resistance. What? what was what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Jeez, I never said that before in my life. I don't even know what it means. This is one of their, um, uh, you know, uh, not this one personally for me. I don't think this is anywhere near one of their best ones, but it's just still a, a great example of the style. They really know how to make an NIPA. And look, again, that's probably why the dry hop isn't bursting out as some of their other beers do because some of their other beers yeah can be you know they hover around as I said before 18 grams 20 grams up to like 50 grams um, a litre of hops dry hop it's insane but anyway that's it there's not much else to say it's an NIPA it's a, it's a great one if you want to try a new hop if you want to try the Eclipse hops it's, uh, it's a good beer uh, to find out what the taste and aroma is like I find their big NIPAs better than their smaller ones um, like you'll often find their smaller ones in bottle shops. They're, um, I can't remember the name of it, but they have one that's around five or six percent. That's sort of everywhere. Um, but their bigger ones are better, bigger and better. But uh, they're expensive for a reason because they cost a lot to make. But uh, get into them. All right, thank you. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one. Wow, that was a long one.